I'm getting ready to have probably the greatest lunch you can imagine. Some pretzels and an energy drink. Don't drink energy drinks. What's up? What's up? What's going on, Crossroads fam? Wow, what a day yesterday was. I hope that you are all okay. Uh, I know I've spoken with one of our students whose house got some damage, uh, but I've not heard of anything terrible. Uh, of course, any damage that you have occurred during the storm is terrible, and uh, I want to help it any way I can. So if you've got something going on, please send me a message. Let me know. I want to come help you. Uh, I've tried to reach out through Remind. I don't even know if you guys look at that stuff. I don't even know if you're going to be looking at this. If you do know that I'm just a phone call away for anything I can do to help. What I did want to talk to you about, though, is the devotion that we're doing. I hope you guys are doing the devotion. I have no way of knowing if you're doing the devotion. I have no way of knowing if you're actually watching these videos. Um, my prayer is that you're doing both of those, that you're getting these daily uh hopefully words of encouragement and, and you're following on the devotion. You know, we talked our first week, we started talking about the anxiety. And you all, many of you have reached out and said that you deal with anxiety issues and things that bring you uh, moments of anxiousness. And then last week we talked about our dreams. Uh, a lot of times we're anxious about dreaming. We're afraid to dream because of fear of failure, uh, fear of being made fun of, a lot of things that, that cause us. And, and one of the things that we're seeing is anxiety plays into a lot of different parts of our life. The, de the new devotion that we're doing today, starting today, it's a seven-day devotion. The new devotion, devotion that we're starting today is by Kyle Eidelman, and it's called the AHA. Not the AHA, it's just called AHA. Uh, here's a picture of it. Let's put it right here in front of my face. Boom. AHA is one of these things that we have those moments in our life, those moments of, huh, you know, you might not go, aha, and you might, your parents are probably going, take on me. It's a song from the 80s by a group called AHA. Different. Aha is one of those moments where things just click in your mind. You're like, whoa. Sometimes it's realization of things. Sometimes it's a call to action. And what we're looking at in this devotion is, uh, as Kyle Eidelman wrote this book, he's talking about the thousands of people that he recorded their aha moments, and he wrote about what that was and how they acted on that. Uh, he talked about numerous, numerous places in the Bible where he read about the aha moments of different people in the Bible and the way that they reacted to it. Uh, but aha is more than just one of those, ah, there's actually statements that go behind it. I'm just going to read from him what he says. Um, it says, uh, aha always has three key ingredients. If any of these three ingredients is missing, it short circuits the transformation process. One of the things that we've talked about before is transform, to change who we are, transforming ourselves by the renewing of our mind. More than just a physical transformation, more than just a, uh, uh, a mental, emotional transformation, but a spiritual transformation, something that starts from the inside. And then, of course, it is seen on your out outward appearance. It is seen outwardly because people can see there's something different in you. Um, that's one of the things that we talk about. And a lot of times what keeps us from truly transforming what we are to what we know we should be brings us back to our anxiety. And these three elements that he talks about, it says a sudden awakening, brutal honesty, and immediate action. action. Uh, awakening, honesty, and action three things that you've got to do to start this transformation process during these next seven days. My prayer is that as you're doing this devotion with us, that you will start seeing that transformation process. Again, this is not for me to tell you that you need to change, but I will say this as your youth pastor, there's things about me that need to change. So this is something that's all of these devotions. I'm not just passing them out to you. I'm following along with you and I, they're helping me out. I would love to hear what God's saying to you during these devotions. Shoot me a message on this number. We're going to put it this way this time. Yeah, right. well, it's probably going to be further over here. Yeah, right in there. Shoot me a text. I would love to just hear what God's saying to you during this. This is our text me number. Again, when it comes to me, I don't know who you are unless you want to put your name in there. Um, but I just love to, to hear, um, one, that you're actually doing it. To that God's speaking to you to that, through this. Uh, again, I know sending messages to me is kind of like having to talk to your parents. I understand you'd rather talk to them probably than me, but I just, I miss you guys, and I'd love to hear from you. Uh, anyway, a lot of stuff going on. Um, praying for you every day. It's almost 11 o'clock as I'm filming this, so I'm about to take some time and pray. I'm going to eat my pretzels, and I'm going to 
keep working. Uh, I'm looking forward to the day when we are able to come back together. I miss my community. But until that day comes, know that every day I'm praying for you and I love you. I'll talk to you soon, Crossroads. See ya.